Hello, my name is Jonathan, but you can call me Jadget. Right, here we are back in Terraria. I've, um, in between episodes, I built a couple more houses. This means that uh, the merchant can move in because I've got enough money and the explosives, the demolitionists, can move in. There's some surface ore, I'll take that. Right, some iron ore. I need that to make an anvil. Now, this episode, I am going to go mining. That means that while I'm away from the house, the guys can move in, the merchant and demolitionist can move into the house, to the houses, and it gives me time to mine, so I can actually get the resources to make an anvil and a furnace, that's what, just, I'm gonna just, stone seems quite a mundane thing to mine, but I, I need it to make a furnace, so I'm just, I'm gonna do that first, and today I'm actually gonna do that, and I might set up uh, that little crafting space I was talking about under the uh, the, uh, the natural sort of um, hollow that was created when the world was. It's quite handy. It's like creating a uh, staircase. If you hold it in an angle, a uh, small curse, it creates a little uh, staircase for you. I mean, uh, this should be plenty of stone to create. Uh, furnace but I'll just I'm just getting enough to um, to keep me going for a little while. Um, you need stone for a few things, so I'm just I'll just grab that and then that should be enough. I'll keep that tiny block of dirt to keep the torch on. Actually what am I saying? Okay, see now that the merchant has arrived already. That's that that see that um that stays on the wall now. That torch doesn't need a block to sit on. Clay, obviously. Um, now, in the the previous episodes, I um I realised uh, they were really just kind of an experiment for me um to see what I should and shouldn't do, and pretty much I shouldn't do everything that I did like in the first episode. Um, obviously, um, I uh, I didn't fl I placed far too few torches and I explained nothing. And in the second episode, I I did bugger all and I explained far too much all in one big go. So, hopefully we'll rectify, we're going to try and rectify that and explain little goes, and I mean this is, I'm just going to see this as a new beginning, so, um, so I'll just, uh, you know, so if you really want, you could start watching from here <laughs> to save out on the, the tedium of the previous episodes. Whoops! Well, I did that really badly. Um, so, crack out some more rope there. So what I'm doing uh, should be fairly obvious. I'm just trying to get these these ores, the ores that are immediately obviously obvious. I mean, um, oh, there's a traveling merchant as well. See, that's um that's something that was new to 1.2, I think. Um, was it? It might have been sort of a mid update, sort of like a smaller patch rather than a big update. But traveling merchants are different from uh, regular merchants because they only appear sometimes and they don't need a house to move into. They just uh, wander about and they sell different things each time they arrive. So that's what a travelling merchant does. We've got a real merchant in there. This, with the merchant there, it means I can start selling this stuff. So like the terrible copper short sword. Oh well that is a... I didn't actually look at the prefix when I got it, but that is one terrible copper short sword. Copper short swords are bad enough on their own, but that one... Worse than most. I've got tungsten ore. I think I said this before, but tungsten ore is um, the alternative to. Uh, when I'll just carve all out of here. See this? Um, it doesn't matter how this uh, this mine looks, this this crevice, because um, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be living down here. So I can I can just make a bigger mess out of it. And like, um, but yeah, tungsten is an alternative to silver. It's the next tier up from iron. Now, what we really want is iron ore, because, um, and there are gems in there. Now, I really want some gems, because that means I can make a grappling hook, which is very useful for movability. I'm just going to put those in there, just so that there's absolutely no risk of me falling down there. Um, now, you can pass through and, um, pass through. Oops, put that back. Um, the platforms through the top and bottom. Iron ore, lovely. That's what we need to make our anvil. And then we'll be able to make maybe um, the best.
better, it's like better pickaxe. Um, it wouldn't be a lot better, but it might... See, the demolitionist again, I, that's because I have the bomb in my inventory. I'm not sure that would have worked if I had it um, in uh, in just in the uh, chest up, up on the, the surface. I'm not sure if that would have worked there. There's a bit of ore up there, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to get to it. Hold on, let me like, just make a couple more of those. I think if you keep it in, in, in your inventory, then he's definitely, demolition is definitely turns up. He sells, as I should imagine it's obvious, he sells um, explosives, he sells grenades. Grenades are really just weapons, but um, bombs and dynamite are used for mining. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. There you go. See, this, um, this mining exhibition has been uh, far better than anything we've done in the past. I've already found a lot of very useful things. There's, there's all down there, and there's gems up here. See, the gems, you can create a grappling hook, which is, um, it's like a, it allows you to, um, I mean, I think I'd need a lot more than I, I think I need like at least twelve or something. But with a with a grappling hook, it means that you can latch onto things and you don't have to. It, it's further. It reaches further than the, the jump, so you could just grapple up there, and um, it would it would stop you having to put around ropes and platforms every which way. I mean, obviously you do still need ropes and platforms in some places, but uh, most of the time you could, it just makes getting around a lot easier. I mean, that's not on my immediate agenda. Um, my immediate agenda is just to get more, just to go on this spelunking mission. I've got the, um, what are they called? We've got Jacob, obviously. We've got Eugene the Merchant and Norson the Demolitionist. Now, that isn't enough, that isn't nearly enough. I mean, I could just use blocks, but. Fun to get as or in or or in core. Hmm. It rhymes. Is that iron ore I see there? Is this iron ore I see before? No. Well, disappointingly, it's tin ore. I think that block of just a row block of. Okay, yeah, iron ore. Right. Okay, good. Mine down here. Whatever this ore is. Might be tungsten, I think. Oh no, that's iron. Okay. Clearly, I have no idea what all the ores look like. There's another ore right next to it, and I've got to watch my breath so I don't drown. I mean, I should be fairly. I'm just going to mine this block here so the water drains out, and I don't have to worry about my breath anymore. Platinum. Platinum is the alternative to gold, so I have, um. Now, in, when the first. Hear that noise? That means that there's a worm coming for me. Get those underground. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously when the first game first came out, the first the, the metals were copper, iron, silver, and and gold. Uh, but th uh, as time's gone on, they've replaced some of them with alternatives. Uh, Guy is kind of getting on my nerves, so I'm just going to come down here and just kill oh, piranhas in the water. You get those sometimes. Not as bad as they sound. You can hit bat them away pretty easily. Um, but um, yeah, so th this um, the development of this game has been really fun to follow because I've you know, I haven't been uh, doing it, playing this game as long as. So able to watch it. And just some of the developments have just been really, really interesting. Um, right, what am I, what am I doing? I think something dropping there.
No, that, oh dear, that was very badly planned. I don't think that's through at all. So no, I don't want the smart guesser on top of this. What was that? That was shoddy. Oh, and now you can hear that. That's another worm coming for us. They're annoying, they're not difficult. Ooh, if you just keep swinging something, then you'll hurt them. There's that. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Another one? Ooh. And these guys do not give up. See, with them, um, if you use smart cursor on stairs, it automatically, on uh, platforms, it automatically shapes them into stairs. Um, Round and about. Anything up there? Not that I can see. Nothing Ooh. of Ooh. great value. Ooh. That's what it's called when you go down Ooh. mining. Just looking in pre made uh, like caverns and things, it's called spelunking. Ooh. So, we're going to be on the lookout for life crystals. You get those down, you get those Ooh. underground. Um, and they, they increase your, they permanently increase your Ooh. overall health. Which I, um, I don't have infinitely a lot. I don't have a big amount of, um, right now, so I should probably be more focused. Oh well. Oh, I need big ups, yeah, that's, that's something, I guess. Ooh. Oh dear. Black slimes are kind of annoying, because they, um, if, if they hit you, they can give you um, some sort of blinding debuff, which is... I'm going to take this, um, this chest here. Oh, I need me some more torches. I didn't ha uh, I didn't have time to talk to the travelling merchant. Which is fine. He'll come back eventually at some point. Right, I mean I've come to the bottom of this uh, natural cavern. I might want to just slide down here so if there's anywhere that this water can drain. It doesn't look like it, so um, I'm gonna before I mine further down than I can jump. Oops. Let's change to your weapon now. Um, right. I don't think there's a lot more I can do down here, so I might go back up to the top, see if I can make myself some crafting stations, so that I can actually make some useful stuff. And then we'll see where we'll go. Oops. See where we can go from there. I'm gonna mine this down a bit so that jump is easier. See, if I use platforms instead of ropes, this I would have a better time with it. But no, for some reason, I've insisted upon ropes. Oh, there we go. I mean, uh, I left all my recall potions at home rather stupidly. Um, that's something we want as well. In kind of low, high, s high underground chests, uh, low surface chests, you get something called a magic mirror, which is, um, it's like a permanent recall potion that you can just use again and again, which is really, well, as you can imagine, really, really useful. 
so you can just carry that around in your inventory and you don't have to you can just go back to the spawn point at any any time you don't need a recall potion you can just go straight back there you don't have to climb back up all these um caverns either but I mean I should have I think I'm not sure how much iron you need to make an anvil um, but I think you use uh, three iron ore to smelt um, one iron bar and then you need like six or something iron bars to make an anvil and back up top it's night time obviously Sure, you guessed from all the zombies. That's annoying. I should sort that out at some point. But let's go meet our new residents. Who do we have here? Eugene. How's it going, Eugene? Yep, yeah, it is. It's me. I'm a scrawny kid. What of it? What What of it, old man? You, you, look at you and your, your brown coat and your. What is that? Like a beret or a flat cap? I don't, I don't think it really matters, so let's just. Uh, that's a terrible fight, that's a terrible fight. It doesn't matter, it's fine. I can, I can live on that. It's just, you know, steady income. Doesn't have to be a good steady income, just an income. Thank you, Eugene. You have been helpful. Right, Norson? No, I don't. I don't want to play fused chicken. That does not sound fun. I could probably sell that as well, though. That sounds fun. Give me that. So, I'm just going here. Oh, that's something new to 1.3. You can just click this button and watch my inventory. It should something's just filter out from it. Because if you're stood near chests with uh, the items in, then it uh, it automatically places those. That button, pressing that button, automatically places uh, the things in there. Wait, tungsten is tungsten is where uh, silver was, and platinum is where gold was. Right. So now we have loads of tin and loads of iron ore. What I'm going to do first. I'm gonna see if I can make a furnace. I'll need a bunch of stone for that, and I think I think you need wood and torches, presumably to stoke the fire. Um, right here we go. Oops. Where are you? I need a furnace. Here we are. See furnace. Just need a uh, twenty stone, four wood, and three torches. That's, um, yep. There we go. Now now I've got a furnace. I probably just for the minute I'm just gonna plonk it in here, and then. See, I can make iron ore blocks. There's not a lot. You c you can do things with iron ore, just the raw ore, but nothing really helpful. I see. Now I have this. Now I can make this anvil. I have a whole more options. So I can make chests and trap doors. But I'm just gonna make an anvil. Right. Oh, it's the first time I've done that since the update. The update gave you achievements as well, so that's why I've got that. It's not the first time I've made an anvil. Um, Eugene, do you want to tell me how that star got in your house? Because they fall from the sky, they hit the floor. Yeah, I guess I must have clipped through the, uh, through your ceiling. I don't mind. You're you're allowed to have a hole in your roof. That's that's fine. So now I didn't place the anvil rather so stupidly, but that's fine. I can just stick the iron ore in there. I've got. Oh, so I must have had some iron ore that wasn't in the object with that. I love doing that. I don't know why, it just sounds nice, I guess. Right, what can I do with this? I'll, I'll leave those be for the minute, and then I might start messing around in here uh, to... I mean, I'll probably finish that off screen because it's quite a big area. I have to. It'll take quite a while to clear out the, uh, the background, uh, the walls with the hammer. this and you see how long that's taken just to do a tiny little bit. I'll have to go along the whole thing, get rid of all the walls and um, then I have to terraform that top bit. I mean I d I'm, I'm into quite neat buildings. I mean some people just like stick stuff in here and just willy nilly with platforms everywhere. But um, I, 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 like, I like my buildings. Something I like to do every time I build. But so we, we're gonna I'll probably do that between episodes. And is there anything more I can sell to get rid of? Uh, I don't. I don't really think so. I don't think it matters that much. 
Now I'm going to go talk to Jacob and see what I need. Oh, crafting. Let's get these rubies. You can make all, make all kinds of things. Red torch, that seems. You could just use a regular torch. Like, this is just an aesthetic thing and it uses minerals, which I, I don't need to do, don't want to do. Um, this ruby staff is really useful. That does quite high damage. I think that uses gold as well. That's like the highest tier. Um, oh no, wait, that uses gold, so I'm going to have to find the staff that I need to make with... What did I have? Did I have platinum? I think that's the alternative one. But ruby hook, I need 15. I've only got 8 of the things. So that means I'm going to have to go mining again, specifically for rubies, at some point. Um, it's night time now, so I might... Um, I'm running low on wood. I think what I should do plant some more trees. I'll, I'll cut these down and then I, with my acorns I'll just shove a load more trees in there. And then next time I go off screen, I mean, not a lot's happening right now. For some reason it's night time but nobody has tagged me. So um, yeah I'll just, I'll cut these trees down, set up a little tree farm, wood farm, and then I'll, um, I'll sort them. That, that should be, some of those should have grown by the next time I come along back from my whatever expedition I go on next. I think I'll probably go um, along this way to the desert, see if I can bridge that gap over the underground desert with some wooden platforms, that's what I need the wood for. And then I'll see what's beyond that way, so if that's um, way over this side. Sadly you can't quite see it, but there, there was, remember there was a big pit over there? I'll just I'll show you with the map see here, so if I just bridge the gap over that then I can see what's further over there. Go on a little expedition. Um, yeah, I'm... Now the enemies are converting. That's, that's what we need to... Ooh. Just want, I just want my tree. No, wrong one, wrong one. need um, quite a constant supply of, like, if, even if, you don't need to even go back there regularly, but, it, like, so long as you have trees that you constantly replant whenever you need wood, you can just, it's to hand, it's right close to the crafting area, and you can just, you can just grab them right there. Oh, that's probably enough, I mean, I don't want to. Oh, that's useful. Before, what you had to do was you had to, um, with a smart cursor, that's really handy because trees have to be a minimum of two blocks away from them because they have uh, one block of branches and roots on either side of them where they could potentially be. So they have to be two apart, and you had to sort of estimate it before. But now, now with that smart cursor, you can just um, it places it automatically. So that's that's really quite handy. Um, here really, so I'm going to just go back out. I've got a bunch of wood now, like 149 wood. Before I go on this expedition, I should grab... Ooh. Sorry, this is iron. Um, I should grab a recall potion, so I don't can just... Wait, that's not in there. What am I doing? It's in here. Pretty cool potion, just so um, I can just come back if uh, I'm in danger or if I uh, if um, the half hour is drawing to a close. Oh no, I'll just stick a little stone in there. Then. Also, hammers you can use to change the or, um, how the bricks look. You can make them into various different blocks. Um, they, uh, when the game first came out, or you know, you could just just blocks are all square, but 
when I think it was 1.2, yeah, it was um, where you could you could angle the blocks, make little slopes and uh, half blocks and things. That um, blew my little mind when it came out. Um, right. I was going to go to the desert, but I guess I'll have to do that next time. Okay, so what have we do? We've got the furnace. I haven't actually placed the anvil, but I do have it, so I think I'll just pop that in the uh, demolition. Well, thanks, Jacob. Just slamming a door in my face. If that's how you really feel about me, then thanks. You're a charmer. Um, so there we have. We, we've got the uh, we've got the anvil. We've got the furnace. So now we um. If I grab the the ores and stuff from the chest, I could do a lot with them. The ores and the bars, and I could start. I mean, I don't actually have a lot of uh, like platinum. Wait, what is it? Oops, platinum. Also, I, I could start to make like armor and things, but I don't have a lot of that, so I'll have to. Um, um, next time I'll I'll smelt this ore, obviously, because I just have tons of it, and then. Actually, I've got plenty of time. I'll smelt it now. Uh, but when when I have more platinum, I'll, I'll start to make that into armor because armor's you don't really need armor until you fight the bosses and until you start to progress, and then it it becomes crucial. So, um, okay, I've got that iron. Yep. And um, I mean, for the for the Eye of Cthulhu, you really want like gold armor, gold weapons to uh, to fight him out. You're not going to really do a lot. Oops, wrong one. I pressed the wrong button there, sorry. Ta-da! And I think we'll probably... There's not a lot more I really want to do. So we've done everything that I wanted to do. We've got another tree farm going as well, so that's handy. I mean, the grass needs to grow for it to expand, but that's that's good. And then, right, so next episode, what do I want to do? Um, I think I'll go exploring off this way so that I can look for items. Sometimes in the desert you have a, a pyramid and you get some, some really good jumping items from down there. To help. And um, so that's that's really helpful. I'll probably see if I can find anything in the desert. Go on a trek. I'll have to take some potions with me. And then, yeah, that should be... I think that's enough to want to do, so I guess I'll see you next time.